At the beginning of the drama series, we see a man, Terenzio. At that time, Terenzio goes to an airport. When Terenzio arrives at the airport, we notice him quite concerned. He seemed to have missed his flight. But in actuality, his flight wasn't missed. The truth was quite different. Later, he goes to the reception to ask the time of the West flight's departure. He is informed that it will depart after two hours. He purchases a ticket later so he can cross the terminal. In a later scene, a woman was having a video chat with a buddy who was residing in New York. Her best friend faints in the meantime and the woman at the airport starts to worry a lot. Because she is currently unable to assist her. Some people were watching TV and witnessed a news reporter passing out later. In addition, they notice that several people have fainted and are lying on the ground. And no one is aware of the cause. People who were watching the news believe it a joke, because how people can pass out in this manner. However, Terenzio knows that it isn't a joke but a serious situation. Terenzio says that this is the time when he should take an action. He rushes to the terminal and grabs the guard's gun as he is distracted. He asks everyone not to interfere in his path. He promptly goes towards the airplane, which was headed for Moscow. After some time, the flight was set to take off. He takes the passenger to gunpoint and demands to fly the jet. The real pilot hasn't come yet and, the co-pilot doesn't want to aid this terrorist. As a result, they were fighting with each other. As a result, a bullet hits the pilot and the pilot was wounded. This bullet had hit his hand. All of the passengers were very concerned because of this situation. They were being encouraged not to worry by the flight attendant. Later, Terenzio exits the cockpit and inquires as to if there is another pilot present. Hearing this, a woman stands up who was a former pilot. She takes off the plane on Terenzio's command. Plane's avionics have broken because of the bullet so no one could exit the plane. That forces them to continue traveling. Later, they question Sylvie about why he is forcibly taking off the plane. He reveals that he was appointed as an officer in NATO. And I am aware of many things that others are not. When the pilots insist on explaining the true cause, he claims that the sun rays have become deadly. Everyone will perish the next day at the start of the day from the sun's rays. Even the people who will be in their homes, he claims that Japan and Korea are already experiencing it. And this plane will be the sun's next target. If the rays will be impacted on it, the pilots don't believe this and say you are likely insane. Terenzio remarks that after hearing this, I might come off insane to you. Actually, though, I'm not mad. Later, the bullet wounded hand of the pilot Matthew was bleeding. A female passenger who was a medical professional, she accepts this duty and declares that she will assist the pilot. She removes the bullet from his hand by using a hot knife. Because of this, the pilot was feeling discomfort, and the other passengers started to worry as well. Therefore he knows he must endure this, because the lives of the passengers depend on Matthew. Later, Matthew informs everyone that we will land in the location that Terenzio asks. Despite the location of our intended landing, Matthew believed that the fighter jets would undoubtedly arrive to rescue them. They have taken off the aircraft because Terenzio has taken them at gunpoint. However, Sylvie, the other pilot, does not believe that help will arrive for them. In contrast, when another passenger learns that sunlight is killing humans, he doesn't believe this and starts to doubt the pilots and that all the pilots are lying to him. Ayaz was name of this passenger. Another passenger appears later, who was Arabian and coughed and later faints after a while. Ayaz pretends that he is assisting him but he steals Terenzio's gun. Terenzio was afterward imprisoned in the bathroom, and the other pilots were asked to share the truth. They inform us that we are about to land to the west. He informs them that it will land in Iceland. Because Terenzio wants our plane to land in the west, when the police arrive, they will arrest Terenzio and release the others. He tells about sun rays and Terenzio believes that the sun's beams are killing people. Meanwhile, the other passenger remember that they've seen strange things. And each of them starts to worry for their families. Later, pilot Matthew informs the passenger, don't worry, I'll take your responsibility as a captain. You'll all be saved by me. Later, this plane reaches into the west. They were about to touch down in Iceland when the pilot noticed 
that there were already a lot of other aircraft there. Numerous planes have crashed as a result of an overabundance of aircraft. Additionally, there is nowhere to land and people are moving around. And the pilot starts to believe Terenzio was right, as they have no place to land so they decide to fly to Scotland. Terenzio was later brought from the bathroom. He was urged to tell everyone the causes of sun-related deaths. Terenzio claims that I learned about this from my senior, and that I likewise have no idea why it's happening. When will this all be over? I only know to land away from the sun if we need to flee. The area where the sun's rays can't reach. Later, when the Arabian individual who fainted before some time, was yet alive was barely breathing. He was going to pass away, but not before telling everyone that I had swallowed the diamonds. The nurse makes numerous attempts to bring out the diamonds from his body. But her attempts remains unsuccessful. They make an emergency landing in Scotland later. Thais was a difficult landing and, the aircraft was on the verge of colliding with a wall. But with great difficulty, before a while, they stop the plane. As their plane lands, they start getting many messages and notifications, from their family members. The news was being reported online that half the population had passed away. Due to the sun's rays, and half of them are alive. This airport was deserted because people have fled from there. They were looking for a dark area where they could hide. The news reported that if the sun rises and a person hides in a bunker, will die. All of these passengers have to fly toward the west. They were preparing their supplies and important bags for this reason. One of the men wants to go back to his wife. He was arguing with them all that I don't want to go toward the west. He was also allowed TP return. Canada was their next stop, where they would refuel their aircraft. The radio will be fixed, and after a while, the internet signals were fixed. Additionally, they get numerous notes that were the last messages of their loved ones. Because their loved one later passed away. A man later informs them that the planet is to blame for why people are dying from the sun's beams. One of them was a man who was a climate expert. He knows about the sun's clarity. He claims that the magnetic field of the sun reversed once every 11 years. But this time, the sun's reversed intensity has been observed weaker. He claims that the gamma blast has affected every area that the sun's beams can reach. These gamma rays are responsible for people death. They don't have any way to prove this theory as well. Later, Ayaz learns via a report that all of the RAF personnel on board the aircraft are terrorists. They have come from Afghanistan and they were arrested. They were returning to their home county. We observe a terrorist and an old man fighting outside. And he pulls the old man to the ground, killing him in the process. When the pilot learns of this, the main pilot decides to send the terrorists to Canada and will take a new flight from there. They finally land, only two hours remain in the sunrise. The terrorists were instructed to find a local radio repair shop nearby. They asked to take along two passengers. They agreed, saying that they would bring Jacob and Gabriel along with them. Jacob was aware of this plane while Gabriel was unaware of this. While Jacob and Gabriel were going with terrorists, Jacob locks them in the room. He also desires to bring Gabriel along. Gabriel, who is unaware of the plot, does not want to go after leaving them. Jacob rushes towards the plane because he doesn't have enough time to stand there to persuade Gabriel to accompany him. He quickly moves toward the plane because of this. The terrorists were pursuing him, while Gabriel has left in the city. The plane takes off without her and terrorists while chasing Jacob, then open fire on the aircraft's windows. This window won't break if the plane maintains the level altitude. There was a boy on the plane who was quite ill. Ayaz tries to communicate with him, so, he might help him. But his mother warns him against approaching his child, don't talk to him. After that, in Hawaii, they receive radio signals from somewhere. They learn about some passengers in Hawaii who are hidden under the water bunker. They're still alive in the pilot, Matthew wants to go to save them. The other pilot suggests that we're not even clear whether this is the right information or not. So it isn't fine, it would be insane to go there to save them. Terenzio arrives there and claims that all the decisions are made by the captain and why we don't. He calls each passenger in the interim. There, it was also determined that every passenger would cast a vote. 
and will decide together. Meanwhile, alarms start to ring. That indicates that the plane is malfunctioning. They examine the plane as a result. Matthew learns that the terrorists they left behind were pursuing them, and one of them had a landing zone tied to himself. They won't safely land if he stays there. Matthew makes the decision that he'll run the plane speedily. And this will lead to a decrease in oxygen. And due to the rapid speed, he will drop. But in this instance, he forgot that their plane's glass had also smashed. As the aircraft flies speedily, the window breaks. Air was swiftly entering the aircraft. Things were flying, making it challenging for the passengers to stay there. Matthew slows down the plane and takes it to a lower altitude. Later, Jacob is revealed to be keeping a wooden board close to the window. Consequently, air cannot enter the aircraft. The ailing child had trouble breathing, considering that he has breath disease. Here, Ayaz had an idea and decided to use an oxygen pipe for the kid. The child's mother is embarrassed as she observes this, because she had already asked Ayaz to keep her child away. Ayaz also assisted him today. The captain warns everyone that if we keep going at this speed, we won't be able to land in Hawaii. They relocate their landing because of this. Additionally, they hate to deal with difficulties due to the hanging terrorists, but in the meantime, we observe Terenzio, Jacob, and Aya's board under carriage. They make a hole in the plane's floor, so they can see the terrorist. Terenzio pulls his gun, but the criminal grabs it instead. Terenzio was ready to be killed when Ayaz intervened to save him. Ayaz has shot the terrorists and become a hero for a while. Later, it became clear that the Arabian passenger who'd swallowed the diamonds, had actually perished as a result of Ayaz. Because his body was buried in Canada by these passengers. A boy notices them while doing this, he was the passenger of this plane. He saw that after cutting his body, Ayaz was bringing something out. Here, Ayaz claims that I am a diamond smuggler. The Arabian passenger's body contained the gems I had hidden there. Due to the Arabian passenger hasn't followed the instructions properly. He passed away because of this, prompting me to remove the diamonds from his body. Everyone becomes enraged with Ayaz after hearing this. And few of them were suggesting to kick him out like terrorists. However, the majority of the passengers supported Ayaz. Unlike many of them who preferred that he stay, so H was handcuffed. Later, they make a landing and refuel their aircraft. Here, the climatologist informs them of an odd fact. Because the Canadian fruits they have taken are tasteless, he claimed that because gamma rays are so powerful, that the fruits no longer have their original flavor. Gamma rays will ruin the food structure if it keeps happening. As a result, within some weeks they may pass away from a lack of food. Matthew who has been driving for a while when he asks the climatologist, that we have to go to the place where the sun can't shine. We'll think about this later because of this. Later, the pilot is seen, who was telling Matthew, that you need to rest right now because you've grown exhausted. He was driving the jet for so long and was lethargic as a result of tiredness. It was obvious that the other passenger's lives were at risk. He is approached by every passenger, who convinces him to fall asleep. He promises that I will sleep, but not right away. I now have to carry the plane. Meanwhile, they receive another radio signal. They can't hear the conversation well, but there was only one that could be heard, and it was about Stara 17. They quickly realize that the man speaking to them is an astronaut, preset in the space. They were quite astonished to learn that he is still alive, and appears to be communicating with the control room on Earth. They decide to travel to the NATO headquarters, the starting point of it all. Matthew, who has gone to the bathroom, they notice has fainted. Actually, the wound caused by the bullet in his hand has gotten worse. The poison is now spreading throughout his body as a result. Nurse among these passengers says if we reach hospital somehow, I'll operate him and the other pilot, who named Sylvie. She was quite worried while thinking about that how will I run the plane without Matthew. All the passengers insists her to fly, even if you don't have any experience, you still need to take off this plane, because you are our last hope. Sylvie can be seen viewing a YouTube video to learn how to land the plane. Watching the video was quite easy but when it comes to take off, and landing the plane, it was quite difficult. Sylvie was getting nervous and when they land it was a kind of shaky landing. Luckily, all the passengers were safe. 
and Sylvie receives a praise from everyone. They divide them into three groups without wasting any time. They have to perform different tasks. While some must refuel the plane, others must transport Matthew to the hospital. Terenzio and Ayas must visit the NATO headquarters as well. There are a lot of patients in the hospital who are curled up on the ground, they were died. After seeing them, the nurse noticed them advises not to panic after witnessing them, and instead to concentrate on saving Matthew's life. Later, we observe the child's sickly mother, she was gathering various items for her child. Like with medicines and his essentials, on the other side, we see the headquarters of NATO. Everything is brought to the control room by Terenzio. They don't have enough time to thoroughly examine every file. They choose to watch surveillance video for that reason. Most likely, they learn something from this video. Later, when a member takes a side, Terenzio and Ayas engage in combat. Terenzio accidentally hits Ayas. Ayas collapses as a result, and his body bleeds profusely. On the other hand, one of their members was succeed in finding a recording. Several officers were heard conversing in this recording. These were regarding an underground bunker in a dam. That is Satara number 17. The same location that they have heard on the radio. Rick is the name of the boy who took this recording. They must now inform their other members of this. As we watch, Terenzio approaches Rick and informs him. That is how I murdered Ayas. When Rick arrives, he notices that his body is covered in blood. On the other hand, Matthew's situation is presently stable. Matthew was later transported on a plane. The other participants board the aircraft to return. Matthew is feeling much better after the operation. Terenzio advises everyone that we shouldn't wait for Ayas. Because he won't return. Everyone was concerned why Ayas wouldn't return. When Matthew turned on the engine, they notice Ayas in front of them. Ayas was carried onto the aircraft, whereas Terenzio's hands were tied up. Everyone is informed by Sylvie that if the Bulgarian jet doesn't take off, to enter the bunker located within the dam, we won't have enough petrol to go elsewhere. They will only have 20 minutes after landing where they may go to the bunker. Ayaz's condition was deteriorating because of lot of bleeding. Everyone later asks that Terenzio has done this with you. Which punishment do you wish to administer to him later? Ayaz claims that after hearing this, I don't want him to pass away. He should accompany us to the bunker, because of how far away the bunker was. They all get into the cars as the jet lands and start heading towards the bunker. Two groups comprised of all of these passengers have been formed. They were traveling in two vehicles. Sylvie was driving the first car whereas Ayaz was driving the other. The bleeding had left Ayaz's condition rather fragile. As a result, Ayaz's and his friend's car crashes. The first car that Sylvie was driving had left at a distant location. Sylvie immediately turns and walks through a gate that is just partially open. A passenger touches this gate and tumbles to the ground. Because current flows through the gate, they learn that they must continue pressing the button till each passenger has entered. It's crucial to press the button since the gate will remain open until it is pressed. Terenzio says that I will continue to press this button until every passenger enters. Terenzio's hands were chained up by Sylvie, because she fears he might trick them like he did with Ayas. She tells him, that you'll be set free, when all the passengers will enter inside. The group members who were in Ayas's car with him, Sylvie and the other team members enter after tying Terenzio's hands. On the other side, Ayas takes a turn after dropping off all of his passengers, then he takes another turn. He enters the dam's bunker by a different gate. Because they left by a different gate, that's why Terenzio has left alone there. While all the other team members had entered the bunker. Finally, the military welcomed them all. They informed them that everyone is now secure. Terenzio remains alone outside and asks God to pardon him for his misdeeds. He was prepared to face the sun. All the other passengers remained alive but Terenzio was killed by the rays of sun. The film ends with this. Thanks for watching this.